On behalf of the Canyon High School class of 2020, I would like to welcome you to our virtual commencement ceremony. I would like to take this opportunity to recognize our CISD Board of Education. Jennifer Weingartner, Catherine Wiegand, Bruce Cobb, Jim Murphy, Randy Darnell, Linda Henders, Bill Jenkins. Also, our assistant superintendents, Robin Cranmer, Cameron Rosser, and Heather Wilson, and our superintendent, Daryl Flushi. In addition, the class of 2020 would like to recognize the teachers, staff, administration, and the family and friends that have played a part in the journey that has led to this graduation ceremony. We commend your efforts to make this a special time for us and to celebrate our achievements through this graduation ceremony. Thank you. Will you please join me in the pledge to the American flag, Texas flag, in a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Will you please join me in a moment of silence? Thank you. At this time, we want to remember our classmate, Churchman Kane Howell, and our former class sponsor, Miss Debbie Crenshaw. Two roses have been placed on stage in their honor. Fifty years ago, the CHS class of 1970 graduated from Canyon High School. Let us take a moment and to honor and recognize the members of this class while the CHS choir performs. I present to you the CHS class of 1970. The sacrifice of serving our country is one that each of us should appreciate, and the class of 2020 would like to honor our classmates who have made the sacrifice to serve in the armed forces. The members of the class of 2020 will be serving in our country are Colby Ronkowski, Army, Christopher Mongold, Army, Alyssa Cisneros, Army, Mariah Tracy, Army, Matthew Watson, Army, Tracer Roberts, United States Military Academy at West Point, Baden Evans, Marines, Brandon Williams, Marines. Stefan Maxwell, Marines. Caden McKinney, Marines. J.M. Lewis, Navy. And Harley Tidwell, Navy. Thank you again for all your call to service. 
At this time, the class of 2020 would like to present our class gift for Canyon High. The class is having filtered water stations installed in the downstairs commons area because we feel this is something that will be used by everyone in the school. We are proud to be able to give something that will benefit the CHS students and faculty for years to come. Now, I would like to ask Ms. Galaxy and Ms. Bennett to come up to the stage. These are our class sponsors for the class of 2020. They have helped us from the beginning of high school, working in concession stands, planning prom, helping in elections, along with many other events. We are giving them gifts to thank them for all their, all their time and hard work. Man, what a year it's been. Who knew that a pandemic would take over the world and shut our daily lives down? There's no doubt that the coronavirus has robbed us of the memories we could have made during our senior year. But the devastation we all feel has been lessened by our teachers, parents, and business owners. Our teachers have created ways to bring smiles to our faces through hands-on assignments and socialization via video chats. Our parents have dealt with our boredom and moodiness while managing not to kill us. And our business owners have altered their hours and methods in order to make a safer world. To those of you who I just mentioned, thank you for encouraging and supporting us and for making this unfortunate occurrence less horrible. You know, senior year is supposed to be the year. It's meant to be every student's last hurrah and one of the best years of childhood. As seniors, students attempt to make their marks in sports and extracurriculars. They participate in once-in-a-lifetime events such as senior skip day, senior pranks, and, of course, graduation. As the class of 2020, however, we are not so fortunate as to do all of those seniory things. But the things we take away from our experiences as seniors during the 2019-2020 school year will stick with us for the rest of our lives. None of us expected the last day of our high school careers to be the day we were released for spring break. Most of us, if not all of us, were devastated when we received the news that school was canceled for the rest of the year. I'm sure there are many tears shed as Dr. Flushi, along with other superintendents, released the first of many communication videos. Our senior year was shot. There, was, there would be no prom, no spring sports, no walking the elementary schools, and worst of all, no graduation. We've been re reduced <laughs> We've been reduced to lazing around on our couches, binging Netflix, and completing school assignments at home. If only Corona would have waited until next year to ruin our lives. However terrible it may be, quarantining has brought out the creativity in many of us. All over the internet, we see people finding ways to stay socially connected and entertained. Seniors have held prom in their backyards, and students and teachers stay in touch through Google Meets. What's more, people are standing together and helping one another overcome their difficulties. Good Samaritans are buying groceries for the elderly and the less fortunate. Neighbors are checking up on each other, and churches are organ organizing drive-in services in their parking lots. Like these people, we seniors of Canyon High School can adapt to our situation and conquer the coronavirus. We've already learned some important lessons from being at home the last three months. We've come to appreciate the importance of friends and family. We've learned not to take the little things for granted, and we've discovered that boredom brings out the creativity in us. Throughout the COVID-19 pandemic, we have learned to treasure every happy moment. We have become mentally stronger than we were before. We are resilient. We are hope for the future. In the words of Freddie Mercury, we are the champions and we'll keep on fighting till the end. The class of 2020 will prevail over this, mind, over this monster of a setback through unity and determination to succeed. We have the potential to accomplish great things. Once we set our minds on success, there's nothing that can stop us. What has taken course in the past few months is absolutely unforgettable. In the following decades, the year 2020 will be synonymous with the word coronavirus. When we hear it, images of empty toilet paper aisles and hand sanitizer shortages will flash through our minds, and the memory of Great Depression era unemployment rates will remind us of how uncertain everything felt. And finally, we will remember the question within our hearts today. How will we overcome this? Throughout history, times of struggle and disaster were overcome by amazing acts of love and charity. In times like these, love is how humanity will win the day. Captain Tom Moore, a retired British veteran of the India and Burma campaign in World War II, 
turned 100 years old on April 30th of this year. In the midst of the coronavirus pandemic, Captain Moore wished to fundraise 1,000 pounds for the staff, volunteers, and patients of the British National Health Service by completing 100 laps around his garden before his 100th birthday. During the 24 days of his journey back and forth along the 82-foot path, the global community fell in love with his cause. And by the time he had completed his 100th lap, Captain Tom Moore had raised over 28.6 million pounds. No act of love is too small, and no word said in kindness is breath wasted. Nobody knew that an old man, simply walking back and forth along his garden, out of love for those on the front line of the pandemic, would prompt such a massive outpouring of love and charity. Even though we cannot be together, we can still find ways to show love for our neighbor. In times when we feel too isolated to make a difference, it is love that wins the day. The class of 2020 is the first class where the majority of its students were born after 9-11. Every year on September 11th, our teachers put on a documentary recounting the terrible events that took place over 18 years ago. We recall the fear and sense of helplessness in the dust-covered faces of the people running from where the towers once stood. In the moments when it feels as if the world stopped turning, when all sense of order has descended into chaos, there are always people who rise from their ordinary lives and exhibit extraordinary acts of love and self-sacrifice. The first teams of firefighters knew there was a chance the towers could collapse, but their compassion and their love of neighbor pushed them to ascend the burning towers, saving an estimate of over 15,000 civilians before the towers collapsed killing over 400 first responders. After the towers fell, and nearly all of the bridges and tunnels leaving Manhattan were closed, over 500,000 New Yorkers looking to get off the island found themselves trapped at the water's edge. In response, the Coast Guard called for all available boats to help evacuate the mass of people. Within minutes, Hundreds of boats of all sizes flocked to the shores of Manhattan and began ferrying people to safety. The 9-11 boat lift is very similar to the miracle of Dunkirk, where nearly 340,000 Allied soldiers, trapped by German forces on the shores of Dunkirk, France, were evacuated across the English Channel with the help of civilian vessels. However, the Dunkirk evacuation of 340,000 soldiers lasted nine days. In New York, all 500,000 were evacuated in nine hours. The 102 minutes between when the North Tower was hit to when it collapsed remains one of the darkest hours this country has ever seen. However, those 102 minutes contain many of the greatest acts of sacrificial love the world has ever witnessed. That day, fear and suffering were overcome by courage and love. In times when our hearts are filled with fear and grief, it is love that wins the day. When Hurricane Harvey made landfall in August of 2017, it quickly became apparent that this storm would be one of the most destructive in our lifetime. For four days, the storm lingered over the Houston area depositing over 60 inches of rainfall and becoming the wettest hurricane on record in America's history. In Texas, 9,000 homes were destroyed, 185,000 more were damaged, and 30,000 people were forced to abandon their homes. On top of all of that, 103 lives were lost. The rescue effort, however, was on the same scale as the storm itself. The local authorities worked around the clock, rescuing thousands from the floodwaters. There were still thousands more in need of rescue. What happened next is what made the Hurricane Harvey rescue effort truly extraordinary. Normal citizens with boats and high water vehicles, compelled by love and compassion, went out into the storm to answer the cries of their neighbors. In just four days, with the help of the civilian fleet of rescue boats, an estimate of 13,000 people were rescued. 
Watching the torrents below from his hotel room, Houston Texans defensive end J.J. Watt stood with a sense of helplessness. Wanting to help fund the recovery effort, he started a GoFundMe campaign with an initial goal of $200,000. People witnessing the suffering and destruction from all over the globe became moved with compassion and began donating to Watt's cause. Within a short period of time, it became the largest crowdsourced fundraiser ever, gathering a record-breaking $41.6 million. In the following year, the Justin J. Watt Foundation had used the money to fund the repair and reconstruction of more than 600 homes and 420 child care centers, provide over 26 million meals, and distribute medicine to over 10,000 people. When I recall the events of Hurricane Harvey, memories of suffering and destruction appear alongside memories of love, sacrifice, and the resilience of the communities affected. The bravery and compassion of both the first responders and civilians, combined with the generosity and love of all the donors around the world, stand as a testament to the human spirit, an intrinsic belief within each and every one of us that in times of need, people will stand together with courage and love to weather the storm. In times when we feel overwhelmed and helpless, it is love that wins the day. These past couple of months, we have witnessed one of the most widespread biological and economic disasters in history. In the US alone, there have been over 1.3 million confirmed cases of COVID-19 and over 80,000 deaths. In Texas, there are over 35,000 confirmed cases and approximately 1,000 deaths. The virus has also taken its toll economically. Months ago, our economy was stronger than ever. 2020 was headed for a record year in all markets. Then, due to stay-at-home orders and other social distancing measures, millions of Americans have found themselves without a job. We have not seen an unemployment rate this high since the Great Depression. Across the nation, schools were forced to finish their semester online. And as you'll see shortly, the class of 2020 will walk the stage of an empty auditorium. Right now, the only thing that appears certain is uncertainty. However, we are all working together to defeat this virus. Though COVID-19 may not be life-threatening to the majority of the population, everyone has taken steps to avoid spreading it out of love for those who are at risk. Businesses across America now encourage shoppers to take advantage of takeout service, and a movement to buy local and to support our local businesses has swept across the nation. Manufacturers have switched from producing cars to producing ventilators and face masks for the men and women working around the clock to care for our sick and to develop a much needed vaccine. Our teachers have worked hard to make the transition to online classes as seamless as possible while also maintaining relationships with their students. Moreover, the faculty of Canyon ISD has worked diligently to make the best decisions for its students and to express love and support for its seniors by organizing a graduation ceremony that adheres to social distancing requirements and by putting up billboards displaying the words, we love our seniors. Our community and others across the world have come together once again with resounding love to stand united against COVID-19. With time and continued sacrifice, we will once again emerge victorious. The love we share for one another is as prevalent now as it has ever been. In times when it seems that the whole world is falling apart, it is love that wins the day. Canyon High School, class of 2020, share your love with the world. Be great, be courageous, and cherish every single moment you have with the people you love. Take every opportunity to tell them how much they mean to you and thank them for everything they've done for you, especially your teachers. Soak in the good times and do not dwell on the bad. Friends, do not hesitate to share your love with the world.
because in times like these, love is how humanity will win the day. Class of 2020, what a year it has been. The principal's address is normally the part of the commencement ceremony in which I call attention to some of the highlights by asking you to stand if you have accomplished certain things in the realm of academics, athletics, fine arts, ag, and other extracurriculars. I could ask you to do that today, but I imagine the family members surrounding you watching this live stream already know all about your many accomplishments, and it might feel uncomfortable and awkward to sit and stand repeatedly by yourself at home. Another reason I don't want to do my usual please stand up speech is because the greatest accomplishments of this class are not going to be found on the usual list. This year has been anything but usual, down to this graduation ceremony. You all did accomplish some of the usual things. You had all state musicians and journalists and athletes. We claimed state championships and had academic all state members. We had several long playoff runs, won FFA titles, and other exciting moments and victories in all kinds of extracurricular activities. And we had the beginnings of what was shaping to be an outstanding spring in all things UIL. You were able to participate in many CHS traditions during your four years, and you even started some new traditions like powder puff dodgeball instead of football on that rainy day. But more importantly, you all took on a challenge no class in the history of Canyon High School has ever had to face. You took the challenge and you accomplished it with excellence and grace, the kind that we have come to expect from you in your time at Canyon High. The challenge, school at home. I speak for CHS's administration, faculty, and staff when I say we are so incredibly proud of how you rose to the occasion and insisted on making your final year here great, regardless of how different it was from your expectations. This year could be marked as one that was different in all the worst ways. Social distancing could have made us all feel alone, isolated, and hopeless. Instead, this year will go down in history as a year that was different in all of the best ways. When we thought we were alone, we became the most together. And when we thought we had no hope, we dug deeper and found it. You did that, class of 2020. And I congratulate you for that and for your graduation from Canyon High School. Dr. Flushi, I hereby certify that these students have met all the requirements set forth by the Texas Education Agency in order to receive their high school diploma or certificates of completion. It is an honor to present to you and the members of the Canyon ISD Board of Trustees the graduating class of 2020. On behalf of Canyon ISD and the Board of Trustees, I accept the recommendation to confer these seniors as graduates of Canyon High School. Congratulations on your accomplishments. Also, thank you to our parents and families who have been supporting uh, our students along this journey for years. Class of 2020, you are not just another senior class. In fact, you are likely the most revered senior class in modern history. Our educators, your families, this whole community have an emotional connection with this year's seniors because those long-standing senior class traditions have been altered or cannot be redeemed. Many of you were born in the fall of 2001 or the spring of 2002. You came into the world in a time of an event that changed our country. That event was 9-11. And now you complete your K-12 education in the midst of a different world-changing event called the COVID-19 virus. My message to you is both about goal setting and this phrase. It's not the moments of struggle that define us, it's how we respond. You're going to become a fantastic adult. However, you don't just wake up one day and say, today is the day I'm gonna be that fantastic adult. So here's a story about an explorer trying to accomplish a major goal and how this is similar to your plan to reach your achievements. Set goals toward a career. The story begins as a man named Roald Amundsen 
was determined to be the first person ever to reach the South Pole. He was very experienced in polar exploration. He was experienced in leading expeditions. Two years earlier than this story, in 1909, he was hoping to be the first man to touch the North Pole. But as he was planning that journey, he learned that someone else had accomplished that feat. Goal number one for seniors. Look for a career that is a match between something you're good at and something you enjoy doing. Use the gifts and talents you have to pursue your interest and grow those talents. Continuing on the story. For two years after 1909, Amundsen developed a plan. He used Eskimo-style skins instead of heavy wool clothing. He used skis and dog sleds for transportation. He looked at different routes uh, to the South Pole and decided on the best path. From the onset, Amundsen decided that the travel would average 20 miles each day, regardless of the weather. His plan was a daily routine to accomplish the 700-mile journey. They embarked on their journey in October of 1911 to travel 43 days to the South Pole. My second point of goal setting. Goal number two, seniors. Determine what skills and what path is best to help you reach your career or profession. Prepare very carefully for the trip and approach the journey at a steady pace. Each day, take a step toward your career. Each day, get better. For Amundsen, he assembled a team of experienced polar explorers and created supply depots on the route he selected. He couldn't venture out on the journey without a team of support. My third point of goal setting. Goal number three, find the people you admire and role models who are in your chosen career area. Get to know them. Understand the path and the steps they followed to get where they are. Allow them to support the steps that you take. On with the story. The climate around the South Pole is challenging with extreme sub-zero temperatures. In some areas of the journey, Amundsen's team experienced sudden changes in the weather, from sunny skies to a blinding blizzard that would last for days. There were mountains with steep descents and sharp glaciers showing the journey, slowing the journey due to the jagged surface. In recounting this story, Amundsen stated, the drops were sometimes terrifying. The howling wind pierces any exposed skin. All the while, they were traveling on unfamiliar terrain. They had gone farther than any images on a map. This leads to my fourth point of goal setting. Seniors, goal number four, anticipate events to come. Know what is around the corner. Ready yourself for opportunity and ready yourself for the setbacks. On with the story. With a journey that takes many days, there's no instant gratification. Out on the frozen tundra, it can be discouraging. Being surrounded in bitter cold with only the very basics of food and shelter. The outlook can be demoralizing to the team. You know, just two months before Amundsen started, started this journey, he began his first attempt, but had to turn back due to weather. He was unsuccessful on his first try. To achieve his goal of becoming the first person to reach the South Pole, he kept the routine of 20 miles per day, regardless of the weather. Amundsen had to constantly look forward and encourage his team. He was the voice of hope. In a similar way, seniors, your school at home circumstances took away some of the joys and celebrations from the performances, the sports, the awards banquets, and even the usual graduation ceremony. These challenges, too, can be disheartening. My last point of goal setting. Goal number five, seniors. Be the power of hope among your friends and colleagues. The power of one person is all it takes to give people hope. Wear a positive attitude as you greet each day and spread optimism and hope. To conclude the story, on December 14, 1911, Amundsen and his team were the first to reach the South Pole. His story is known as the 20 Mile March. 
Seniors, you're leaving our doors to begin your journey on an unfamiliar route. You have the ability to reach any achievement that you set, just as Amundsen had the ability to reach the South Pole. I hope these goals might help you on your pathway. Remember, it's not the moments of struggle that define us. It's how you respond. Congratulations. I wish you the very best in the years to come. Thank you. Kristen Michelle Anderson. Aaliyah Rain Apple. Jackson Curtis Aragon. Grayson Clay Artho. Josiah Samuel Asbill. Creed Thomas Austin. Tegan Austin Barnett. Colton Tate Bartley. Piper Grace Beatty. Aaron Ann Bell. Juliana Jeanette Bell. Callan Scott Bice. Luke Mason Boney. Jaden Bowling. Alexandria Mariah Bonds. Brett Michael Bowman. Lucas Daniel Bradshaw. Brayden Michael Brewer. Megan Tate Brewer. Abigail Shea Brewer. Tobin Joshua Brooks. Braxton Cole Brown. Caitlin Joy Brown. Luke Wayne Bruce. Catalina Sibyl Bruton. Hannah Grace Bush. Jordan Aaron Calloway. Carson Lane Campbell. Emily Jocelyn Cardenas. Miranda Elora Carver. Emmanuel Castillo. Bryn Elise Chapman. Brooke Aaron Chapman. Tierra Addison Chavez. Tucker Bo Christie. Desiree Renee Climo. Peyton Grace Cochran.
Keith Lewis Contreras. Carter Elaine Cluck. Riley Jade Contreras. Emily Grace Clayton. Luis Gustavo Contreras. Daxton Jace Cornelius. Brooklyn Janice Cornelson. Ariana Danae Craig. McKenna Maxine Kopic. Diego Cuevas. Emma Louise Crenshaw. Abby Grace Counts. Grayson Riley Culwell. Jordan Nicole Daniels. Zachary Quinn Daniels. Sadie Alexa De La Cruz. Bree Elizabeth Davis. Elijah Armando De La Torre. Ali Braden DeLong. Ethan George Doan. Jaden Joseph Dominguez. Naomi Monique Dominguez. Caleb Wade Donay. Devon Sierra Dorsey. Jacob Douglas. Brandon Jamal Driscoll. Alexandria Marie Engelhart. Baden Scott Evans. Cameron Sky Diaz. Stephen Edward Ferguson. Samantha Nicole Fernandez. Ryan Benjamin Fulton. Peyton Dwayne Gable. Timothy Diego Garza. Ridgely Nicole Glaze. Andrew Russell Gilchrist. Catherine Margaret Gill. Jared Matthew Gomez. Keaton William Goss. James Clay 
am. Tony Hernandez. Dalton Dwayne Hamer. Alyssa Janae Harris. Addison Paige Hicks. McCade Colton Hicks. Rebecca Angeline Higgins. Riley Annette Higgins. Aiden Neil Hildinger. Madison Ray Hill. Clayton Lowry Hoggett. Wade Taylor House. Madison L. Howard. Miles Jackson Huffines. Darcy Deanne Hunsaker. Christopher Fernando Hernandez. Gia Mercedes Jackson. Riley Lynn Jackson. Jansen Luke Johnson. Matthew Calvin Jones. Destiny Joe Keenan. Caitlin Alexis Kelch. Catherine Hernandez. Isaac Kendrick. Allie Blake Kennedy. Kenzie Page Kimbrough. Cambry Kyle Keene. Kylie May Coke. Edwin Scott Coots. Kendall. Troy Coons. Talon Mark Custer. Jaden Michael Lane. Cameron Marie Laramore. Tyrese Xavier. Law Braley Madison Leach Caden Lynn Lewis J. M. Lewis Gage Weston Luder Dawson Tate Litoff Peyton Brim Luther Callie 
Malin Lytle. Toby Mark Macklin. Cheyenne Sunshine Millet. Merrick Avery Mackey. Braden Gerald Marnell. Justin Ryan Martin. Robert Philip Martineau. Chance Braden Mathis. Stefan Nicholas Ashawn Maxwell. Caden Maximus Mays. Cadence Creed Maynard. Russell Taylor McAneer. Ali May McBroom. Addison Avery McCollum. Macy Faith McClish. Megan J. McDonough. Brooke Ann McKinney. Caden Wyatt McKinney. Laney McCall Metter. Nolan Zachary Mendoza. Isidoro Salvador Mendoza. Fabian Celestino Mercado. Martha Cecilia Nahara. Claire Elise Meyer. Robert Ross Unruh. Keely Jade Mitchell. Austin David Mitchell. Hunter Michael Mitchell. Emily Kate Mize. Christopher George Mongold. Caden Dion Moya. Braden Andrew Neighbors. Drew Montana Mercer. Jolie K. Mullins. Cameron James Neal. Ian Aiden Neely. Aaron William Neely. Adolfo Angel Olvera. Caitlin Ann Noel. Q. 
Kira, Nariz, Danielle, Palmer. Sydney, Janine, Harvin. Sarah, Rose, Hatterakis. Jonathan, Tyler, Peavy. Madeline, Rose, Pemberton. Alyssa, Giselle, Perez. Jacob, Alexander, Porter. Mark, Dyer, Porter. Brett, Kelly, Ramirez. Kelton, Edward, Ramon. Lane, William, Rankin. Elizabeth, Marie, Reed. Kylie, Elise, Reed. Alyssa, Dawn, Reeves. Isaac, Ray, Reyes. Mariah, Lynn, Reyna. Cade, Thompson, Rhodes. Deanne, Bailey, Rice. Tristan, Nathaniel, Rickenbaugh. Aaron, Marie, Riley. Adrian, Paul, Roach. Tracer, Cole, Roberts. Claire, Nicole, Roberts. Amanda, Paige, Roberts. Liberty, Grace, Roberts. Blake, Andrew, Rodriguez. Anna Ellie, Eliza Rodriguez. Colby, Brett Rutkowski. Ethan, Eric Ryder. Abraham, Rafael Sanchez. Aiden, John, Sandberg. Brandon, Caleb, Sayakamarn. Jordan, Davis, Schroeder. Reese, Davis, Howard, Seidemann. Alexander Sewell. Tanzia Linnell Grace Sheard. Wayne Keith Sheard Jr. William Nelson Simmons. Alyssa Don Cisneros. Jack 
Henry Skalski. Cooper Logan Smith. Jordan Leanne Smith. Marissa Rochelle Spencer. Wyatt Lee Stallings. Jackson Edward Sulik. Brody Owen Swift. Jesse Nathaniel Tarango. Ethan Patrick Taylor. Jennifer Shantara Teston. Avery McKenna Thomas. Gracie Brianne Tidmore. Arlie Nicole Tidwell. Marcos Oliveros Tijerina. Haley Nicole Tilly Brown. Colin James Treadwell. Mariah Sue Janelle Tracy. Raven Melena Trevathan. Taylan Marie Alch. LaVar Damian Miller Desmoines. Carlotti Grace Herschel. Joey Elizabeth Van Landingham. Brayden Thomas Vanover. Gatlin Teal Wagner. Brazos Reagan Washington. Matthew Scott Watson. Daisha Angelica Wesley. Jaden Michael White. Julie K. Whitey. Jackson Paul Weekend. Haley Elaine Williams. Brandon Scott Williams. Courtney Brooke Williams. Merlin Scott Williams. Hannah Eileen Winvolt. Jacob Wayne Wirt. McKenna Wyatt.
I would just like to say thank you to Ms. Schroeder, um, Ms. Jackson, and Courtney Schaller. They really helped me. Thanks to my parents and all my friends, they've got me through everything. Uh, I just want to thank my mom and dad for always keeping me on the right path and always encouraging me uh, to do my best in school. Hey, mom and dad, I just wanted to say thank you so much for getting me here and for Judah and Jacob. Thank you guys for being supportive brothers. And especially for Coach Curtin, thank you for being a great coach and mentor to me. I just want to thank my parents and family for helping me through school all these years. And I just want to say that it wouldn't be able to happen without you. Thank you. Hi, everyone. It's wild to see that we got this way, but I'd like to give special thanks to everyone who got me here, who fed me and drove me and took me and went through all the extra effort. So especially my parents and my grandparents on both sides, I couldn't have done this without y'all. I just want to say thank you to Coach Gonzalez for giving me the opportunity to learn from him and become a better person and to my family and everybody that's helped me along my journey through high school. I would like to thank my family and friends for believing in me when I didn't believe in myself. I'd like to thank my family members, my mom, my dad, my sister, and my brother, and everybody else for just supporting me on this journey. I'd like to thank all of my teachers, and in, or specifically um, Ms. Shudo and Ms. Sloan, and Mr. Fabella and Mr. Farron for really being there um, throughout the entire journey. Thank you to my family, my mom, my dad, my sister, and everyone. Um, you guys have helped me accomplish this far, and I thank you guys a lot for everything. I'd like to thank my parents and my teachers for helping me get this far, and uh, that's, that's about it. I'd like to thank my mom and dad. Uh, they supported me the whole way, and. Uh, I don't think anybody else could have done it better than they did. Uh, I'd like to thank all my teachers, my family, and just everyone who's helped me throughout this time. And I'd especially like to thank Mr. Fulton for everything he's done with me with the Ag program and the welding program. Thank you all for everything that you do for me and thank you for always supporting me in everything that I do. I just want to thank my parents, my grandparents, my siblings, and I want to thank um, the CHS staff, of course, and I want to thank all the Lion Club members um, for all the support that y'all have given me throughout my high school experience. <laughs> thank you, Mom and Dad. I've had a fantastic experience in my high school and really my education career throughout the years. And I literally couldn't be where I am today without my fantastic teachers and all the people on the school board who really work to educate and really build these students up. With that being said, I'd like to thank my parents. I'd like to thank um, all my teachers, like I said, um, all, the all the teachers who teach the extracurricular activities and the teachers, the coaches, Mr. Closey, Coach Curtin, uh, Ms. Cook, and for my mentor, Josh Weingarner, for teaching me so much. And thank you all very much. I want to thank my family, my friends, and my coaches that supported me to get here. I just wanted to say a quick thanks to my mom and my dad for always supporting me through the last four years. Um, it's meant everything to me. Hi, I would like to say thank you to my parents and my friends for helping me along this journey. I love y'all so much. I'd like to thank my friends and family for helping me get this far. Couldn't do it without y'all. Thank you so much for all the uh, teachers and coaches especially that helped me get through this. Uh, it's been a great year and I couldn't, wouldn't have done it with anyone else. 
Uh, I just want to say thank you to my friends and family and teachers that got me to where I am today. <laughs> I just want to uh, say thank you to everyone who has supported me throughout my high school career. Thank you mom and dad so much for all the support and love you've given me during this time. I've really cherished the time we've had it all together and I'm ready to move on with my life. I just want to give a big thanks to all the friends and family who helped me get to where I am right now, especially to my parents. Um, just thank you so much for always supporting me in every decision that I've ever made. I want to thank my mom and dad and all my friends and family for helping me get to where I am today. Thank you for everyone that's helped me get this far. Uh, couldn't do it without y'all. Regum Tech. Thank you to my family and friends for supporting everything that I've been through. Thank you, Mom and Dad. I could not have done it without you. And thank you to all my teachers. I'll be the first one to graduate high school from my family. So I'm pretty proud of that. Uh, my mom had me at a very young age, and she had very high standards. And I'm graduating high school, and my next step is going to a trade school. I just wanted to say thank you to my family and my parents for always supporting me and um, I really appreciate them for never giving up on me. Mom, Dad, family, uh, thank you so much for always supporting me. I love you very much. I just want to thank my family for always supporting me through everything and all the decisions I make. So thank y'all. I just want to thank everyone that helped me get to this place, especially my family, my friends, and most importantly, my parents. They, I wouldn't have been able to do this without them. <laughs> um, I just want to say thank you to my parents, and thank you to Mr. Farron and Mr. Kincaid for all they've done for me, and yep. I would like to thank my friends, my teachers, and my families for supporting me the last 12 years, and I'm so thankful for all that y'all have done for me. To everybody who helped me here along the way, thank you for making sure I got here safe. And to my mom and my dad and my sister, I couldn't have done it without you. Thank you to my mom. Thank you to the rest of my family, everyone who got me here. Thank you to my coaches, Coach Lombard, Coach Hampton. Um, thank you to all my friends. I'd like to say thank you to my family and my parents for getting me through everything and supporting me through high school. I just wanted to say thank you to all of my teachers and all of my family for supporting me during high school and up until graduation. I want to say thank you to all my friends and family who have supported me through my entire high school career. Um, and kind of help me grow and become a better person. Thank you to my parents, my friends, and especially my teammates. I want to say thank you to my parents and my grandparents uh, who helped me become what I am today. I really want to thank Mrs. Inns up in the front office for getting me through all these years on 504 and school because that's always been a struggle. And I really couldn't have done it without you. And mom and dad, you know where you stand. Love you guys. I would like to say thank you to my parents and my choir teachers, Ms. Harder, Mr. Kincaid, and Mr. Farron, and my best friend, Des. <laughs> I'd like to thank my family and the Lord up above and my friends for always being there to support me and loving me through every single thing I've gone through in the past 12 years. <laughs> I just want to give a big thank you to my mom because I know there was plenty of times where I wanted to quit but she did not let me. She definitely pushed me all the way through. That's really the only person I want to thank.
I just want to say thank you to my family and all my friends that have shaped me into the person that I am today and that have helped me just accomplish all things that I have. I'd just like to thank my family and my friends for pushing me to be the best that I can be and all my teachers for always being there for me. I would like to thank everybody who has allowed me to get here through my life and I thank you for helping me achieving this milestone. Thank you mom and dad for everything that you've done to support us. Um, friends, I'm going to miss you and I'm glad I've got to spend the last four years with you. Happy graduation. And <laughs> I'd like to thank my parents, my brother, for always supporting me and uh, Miss Hale and Miss Schaller for always helping me when I just didn't turn stuff in. I just want to say thank you to all my family and friends and, and all my teachers that have been through this with me. I just want to say thank you to my teachers that pushed me throughout high school and my family and my friends. I would like to thank both my parents, my mom and dad, uh, for showing me right and wrong and how to work very hard in my life. I'd like to thank my parents for supporting me with everything. <laughs> uh, I'd like to thank my coach and my family and all my friends for supporting me throughout the years of high school and encourage me to keep pushing on. I'd like to thank my mom and dad. Thank you for being there for me. I know these past four years haven't been easy, but definitely helped me through it. Thank y'all. I would like to thank my parents and my family for being by my side through all of it and all of the busy nights because of band and not just leaving. <laughs> and I would like to say thank you to the couple of people that have been by my side from before high school, my friends, my, just everyone. I wanna thank my um, parents for always supporting me and always being there for me. I just wanna say thank you to my parents, my mom, and coaches, teammates, and peers that helped me through high school. I just want to say thank you to my mother who helped me go through not only high school already but college and Miss Solomon who pushed me to be better than I ever was before. Thank you guys. Thanks to everybody who uh, helped me through this. It took a lot of work but I got through this and you know who you are. I just want to say thank you to my family and friends that have always stuck by my side and pushed me through everything throughout these four years. All I would like, want to say is I thank my family for all the support that they've given me all through all through my years of high school. All my friends and family, especially family. I may not be seem like I'm the most appreciative son, but I love every single bit of my family. Thank you and go 2020. I'd like to thank my friends and my teachers and my family for getting me to where I am today. Thank y'all so much. I'd like to thank my parents for just motivating me to get to this point. My youth group, all my family, my cousins and friends, they just kept me going the whole time. Thank you. I want to thank my mom, my dad, and my stepmom, Leilani, for helping me get this far. I just wanted to thank my parents for um, always being there for me, even though it was kind of difficult through my freshman and sophomore year. But um, I hope I did y'all proud. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you for all the teachers and friends who have um, encouraged me throughout the years and made me the person that I am today. Thank you for my family, my teachers, and my friends to push me to pass school and I want to thank my parents, my grandparents, and family friends who have helped me all along the way. 
I'd like to thank Brian and Robin Goss, Don Tyra, Adam Kendrick, and my grandma for always showing me not to ever let, be let down and to always persevere. I'd like to thank my mom and my dad for helping me for this accomplishment and my sister and my coaches. I want to say a thank you to my teachers, especially Ms. Howell and Ms. Prather, who have been my teachers since freshman year, and they've mentored me throughout my four years. So. Hello, I'd like to say a thank you out to all my family and teachers who have helped me come this far. I wouldn't be able to get there where I'm at without y'all. Thank you, everybody. I'd like to thank my parents, all my teachers that pushed me and uh, to pass and all that. My band director for also pushing me to pass. My football coaches that aren't my football coaches anymore because they made me the man I am today. That's about it. <laughs> I would just like to congratulate my fellow classmates and thank my friends and family for helping me across the path. I'd like to thank all of my family and friends that have been with me along this journey. It's been a long ride and I appreciate you sticking with me all the way through it. I'd just like to give a huge shout out to my mom and dad and my sisters for pushing me to strive every day and get all of my stuff done from driving me to stock shows to being there for me through all my successes and all of my losses as well. I'd also like to give a huge shout out to Landy and Josh Campbell who have been there throughout the stock show industry and pushed me to be the person I am today. Without y'all I would not have anything that I have it had, that I have had received through the stock show industry. I'd also like to give a shout out to Jennifer Warren and Jeff Closey and Chase Fulton. Thank y'all so much for pushing me as hard as y'all did in the ag building. I would not be the person I am with y'all today. Thank you for the endless miles and memories. Well, I'd like to thank my mama and my daddy for teaching me everything that I need to know in life how to fix vehicles and everything, get it running, teach me more about life. I'd like to thank my grandparents for helping me find the Lord and helping me figure out this way through life. And I'd also love to give a shout out to all my buddies who helped me make great memories throughout the years of high school. Thank you to my mom and dad, and thank you to my older sister Reagan and my younger sister Ryan. I'd like to thank all of my family members, my parents, my grandparents, and my sisters. I love you, I couldn't have done it without you. Um, I want to say thank you to my friends, my family, my coaches, and my teachers for getting me to where I am today. I'd like to thank my friends, family, and parents who managed not to kill me while I was so negative all these years. Hi mom, hi dad. I want to thank you both for raising me and I love you, and thank you for getting me here. Hey, Mom and Dad, and all my sisters. Uh, I just wanted to say a quick thank you before I graduate, and um, just all the love and support that you've shown me over the years uh, has really uh, helped me get to where I am today. So I just wanted to say thank you. Hi. Mom, Dad, Mr. Closey, Miss Warren, Mr. Fulton. Thank you for influencing me and getting me to where I am today. Thank you. Mom, Dad, the rest of my family, I wanna say thank you for taking me along this journey of 18 years. Y'all prepare me in so many different ways. I know that I am ready for this next stage of life and go on my own. It's starting to really sink in and I love y'all so much. Thank you for everything you've done. I would like to thank my parents and my coaches and my teachers for allowing me to be at Canyon High School and having the time of my life. Uh, I just want to thank my parents and all my coaches for helping me to get to this point. <laughs> I just want to thank my friends, families, and all the teachers I've had throughout the years for helping me to get here. I just want to thank my family, I want to thank my dad, my mom, they're my biggest supporters and I want to thank everybody for doing everything that they can for me. I want to thank my parents, 
uh, all my family just helped me get here and supported me. Uh, thank you for everything. I just want to thank my parents and my sister for helping me accomplish all the great things through my 13 years of school. And that's it. I'd like to thank my mom and my aunt for always pushing me and supporting me in school. Thank you to my parents for your love. Thank you to my parents for helping me get through high school and encouraging me daily just to be a better person and be nice to everyone. And thank you to my friends for making the school day just a better place and being there for me. I would just like to thank my family for supporting me and guiding me through these last four years of my life and also my teachers for preparing me for the future. I just want to say thank you to all my teachers and friends who supported me throughout high school and I also want to thank my family for being there for me always and I really appreciate them. I just want to say thank you to all the wonderful teachers and administration here at Canyon High School. It's really been a great honor to graduate from this school. It's one of the best in the nation, probably, um, and I uh, hope to see you guys soon in the future. Thank you, Mom and Dad, to, especially to all the administrators here. Um, thank you, Mrs. Cook, for all your hard work, and I uh, uh, hope to see you guys soon. Uh, Gig'em. I want to say thank you to my mom and my two sisters, Shady and Liz, and I also want to say thank you to my grandpa. Um, thank you just for always being there and always helping me out and helping me get through these past 12 years of school. Thank you. I'd just like to thank my friends and family and all my teachers who have pushed me over the years to become who I am. I'm thankful for my family and friends and all the teachers who helped me get through all of this. I want to thank my mom and dad for always supporting me and making sure that I'm always striving and prospering. Thank you to everyone who's supported me throughout my high school career. Thank you to everyone who supported me throughout my high school career. I want to thank my mom and dad, Ms. Stafford and Mr. Farron. I'd like to thank all my teachers, my parents, and my brother, and as, long as, as well as my mentors and Ms. Cook. Just want to give a big thanks to all my family and friends for helping me get this far along, and uh, I couldn't have done it without you guys. I'd like to thank Ms. Sanderson, first off, for being the best principal in the world. And my parents to push me to this point because without them, I'd be screwed. Ms. Jackson for being the coolest math teacher. She was awesome. And Ms. Stabney for always having my back. Mom and Dad, thank you for loving me, believing in me, and instilling in me everything that I am. I love you. Thank you. Thanks, Mom and Dad, for uh, supporting me throughout all of high school. And thanks, um, teachers, for uh, being great throughout the years of my high school. Thank you for everything, uh, parents and Ms. Holbrook and Ms. S. Hi everyone, I just want to say thank you to my family and my teachers for supporting me throughout the years um, and for pushing me to do my best. Um, I wish you guys could be here and um, to celebrate with me, but I just want to say I love you guys and thank you and I'm excited to continue my education at Oklahoma State, so go folks! I wanted to thank uh, all my family and friends for supporting me along the way. Uh, it's been fun and I thank all y'all for giving me the support I need. I just want to thank my boy Jose, girlfriend Kiara, and the whole family. I just want to say thanks to everybody, you know. Christian, Zach, you really put up a lot of, with me 
mom and dad. I'm glad that you guys supported me, like, even to the end. Christian, you know, I know it can be sometimes of a butt, but you've always been there for me, even though you are also a butt sometimes. And Mark, too, you know, you really make me laugh sometimes, and I'm glad I can see you as an older brother. Thank you. I would like to thank my family, my friends, and all my coaches, and go Eagles. I would like to thank my family and friends for all the love and support that they showed me, and to all my football players that I got to play with this year, thank you for all the competition and hard work you put me through to grow stronger as a man. I want to thank my mom and my sister, probably the only two people right now who I'm alive right now, so I thank y'all. I love y'all. First, I'd like to thank my uh, parents uh, for raising me as I am, and second off, I would like to thank all the teachers, principals, faculty members for uh, being one of the best in, uh, in this area. I really enjoyed my time here at Canyon High, and uh, thanks for everything. Thankful for my family and my teachers that did a lot of work to get me to where I'm at. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you to my family, my friends, and of course my teachers. Um, I've had a great time here and I'm excited for the future. I just want to say thank you to all of my family and all of my teachers um, for making a huge impact on my life. I would like to thank my family and just everybody that was there for me. Thank you, Mom and Dad and Jeff and Terry for supporting me through my 800 million sports that I have done and all my different activities. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Mom and Dad. You guys are the reason I made it this far and I appreciate all the support. I would like to thank my parents for helping me this senior year, especially with my injury in the show barn, and of course my younger brother. And a thank you to Coach Coffee and Coach Haddock for always pushing me to be my best on the softball field. And of course, all the teachers helping me along the way. I just wanted to say thank you to my family and uh, my close friends that have kept me going and kind of kept me motivated through everything, through my ups and downs. And uh, I wanted to say thank you to Coach Doan for kind of given me a good mindset to have for the first couple of years of high school. Really made an impact on my life. Thanks for all the teachers that believed in me and thank you for my parents and my other family members that knew I could make it. Thank you baby for always being with me through this entire school year. Thank you grandma. Thank you, coaches, for always helping me out through everything. And yeah. Thank you, Mom and Dad. Thank you, Mom and Dad, and thank you, uh, Fabian's parents and Fabian for letting me, you know, keep on moving forward. I'd like to say thank you to my family, my two best friends, you know who you are, my teachers and my music for supporting me and helping, helping me get this far. I just wanted to thank my family, my friends and the teachers that made it bearable. I just want to say a huge thank you to all of my teachers and coaches and my friends and family for helping me through all of this. I want to thank Miss Dabney and Miss Roeder also. I wanted to thank her as well for helping me get through my high school career for the past, what, three years? They helped me out a lot. And also, I wanted to thank Bree for helping me as well. I really do appreciate all y'all and all y'all have done in Eagles Inc. That really changed me in so many ways. I appreciate you all. I would like to thank Miss Schroeder for bringing, getting me out of my shelf since freshman year and I would like to thank 
Ms. Dabney and the administration for really bringing a lot of joy to everyone at this school, so. I would like to thank my parents and for all my teachers and just everyone that made my high school experience memorable. It's been a great year. I've had a lot of fun, fun going here, and I'm glad that, I, that it's finally over. Uh, I'm going off to the military, and that's all this is going to be said. Uh, I just want to shout out to my friends and family, uh, mostly my mom and dad. I know I don't say it enough, but thank y'all, and I love y'all. I just want to say thank you for all my friends and family, uh, teachers and faculty for pushing me the way you did, just getting me through high school, and I really appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, I want to thank the band directors and my family. Okay, I want to thank my family and friends for helping me get here today and helping me on this great day. I want to thank my family for constantly supporting me and helping me get through these past few years and having me do the best of my ability through everything. I'd like to thank my mom, my dad, and all my friends that helped me get through this year and President Obama. I just want to say thank you to my family and the CHS faculty for getting me through this journey of high school. Quiero dar gracias a mi mamá, mi papá, mis hermanas y mis hermanos que sin ustedes no estuviera aquí. Gracias. I would like to thank all of my great teachers for helping throughout the year and I would like to thank my mother and my father for helping me as well. <laughs> I just would like to thank my mother and my father for being a great inspiration. I just want to thank my family and my friends for supporting me and I love you guys. Thank you. I'm thanking uh, my parents, my grandparents, and then all of my uh, travel coaches and uh, Coach Stone just for helping me get to this point in my life. I'd like to thank my parents for supporting me. <laughs> I just want to thank my parents and my friends for all their love and support in helping me um, graduate. Thank you for getting me to where I am today. Um, I want to thank my parents, all the teachers that dealt with me, all the principals. Um, I'm just so grateful to be here today. And I'd just like to take a second to thank my mom, my dad, my brother, and my sister. I love all of you guys. Thank you to my parents and all of my friends and teachers who've helped me through high school. I want to thank my parents for helping me get through all of this. And I want to thank, for, I want to thank the teachers for the emotional support that I've received over the four years that I've been here. I'd like to thank my parents and my grandparents for helping me get through this high school year and my girlfriend, Melanie. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for helping me make it this far, and I made it. <laughs> Mom and Dad, thank you for making me who I am today, hardworking and caring. I love you guys so much. Mom and Brandon, thank you for making me the daughter I am today, hardworking, caring, and kind. I love y'all so much. I think I'd like to take, uh, take this time to thank uh, all the teachers that have helped me through this growth time that I've had. And I uh, want to give a special thanks to my parents for not giving up on me whenever there were so many times that I wanted to give up. And uh, I think I'm ready. I'd like to thank my mom and dad for always pushing me to do my best. I'd like to take this time to thank my mom, my dad, my lovely girlfriend Jillian, Miss Copeland, Miss Sloan, 
uh, Ms. Stafford, Ms. Justice, and Ms. Westbrook, and also Mr. Fabilla. I'd like to thank my parents for helping me throughout this journey. Um, I love y'all. I'd like to thank my parents for sticking with me through all 12 years of my education. Uh, thank you for staying with me through every like struggle that we've had. Um, I'd like to thank all the administrators and the teachers for allowing us to graduate during this little rough patch of what we're experiencing right now, so thank you. I'd like to thank my family for all the support they've ever given me and all of the teachers and especially the band directors for all the time they've invested in me and helped me grow throughout my high school journey. All right, I just wanted to thank all of my friends and family that have been here for me throughout all of high school. It really helped. Uh, I just wanted to thank my friends and family for supporting me and uh, Coach Curtin for always pushing me to be the best I can. Thank you, Mom, Dad, and Sarah and Claire for all that you've done, done for me and um, supported me throughout the years. And yeah, thank you so much and I love y'all. I would like to thank my mom, dad, and my sisters for supporting me and helping me through everything. I love y'all all so much. I'd like to give a, a special thank you to my friends and family who helped me along the way. I couldn't have done it without you. Hey, Mom and Dad, just want to say thank you, and I love you both very much. Well, I want to thank my dad for being there, and I love you so much, and I hope you're very proud of me. I just want to thank all my family, my mom, dad, my stepmother, my stepfamily, my biological family. I want to thank my coaches and my uh, teammates for helping me out through this, throughout this year. I just wanted to thank my mom and dad for all the help you've given me these last 12 years. I want to thank my grandparents for the last three years. I've thrown a lot of strength the last three, few years, and I, I thank you for your help and cooperation. I just wanted to thank everyone who has helped me and encouraged me to get to this, like my teachers and my parents. Thank you so much. Thank you all the teachers and my parents for helping me throughout the years. Thank you so much. Thank you to my family and my friends and the teachers that made my high school life great. I want to say thank you to my family and all the teachers who helped me get here. I want to say thank you to my mom and my grandparents for supporting me all throughout my four years and then for my sports. They were there for my whole career and I couldn't do it without them. And I thank you very much for that. I love you. I just want to say thank you to all the administration and teachers I've had over the years. Um, you really made my time at Canyon High School a time I'll remember for the rest of my life. So thank you for that. Thank you to my coach Baca, Adams, and Spears for being there for me in track and all my teachers that helped me push through this year and my mother and father for giving me what I needed to succeed this year. Thank you to my family, my coaches, Ms. Feemister and Ms. Prather for everything they have done for me. I want to thank my family, all the teachers that pushed me to do the best I can, and everyone that gave me the leeway to do anything that I didn't think I could do, but they pushed me to do. I just want to thank everyone who has supported me, my family, um, my friends and my teachers who pushed me even though sometimes I wanted to give up. <laughs> Thank you, Grandpa. I know you're watching me in heaven. I love you and I miss you. I'd like to thank my family, friends, and teachers for supporting me through the past 18 years of my life. <laughs> I'd just like to thank my family and friends and everyone that's been with me along the way. 
I just want to thank my parents for being my number one supporters and being there for me through everything and for my friends just being by my side. I just want to thank my family for always being there for me and for always pushing me to do my best and my friends for always being there for me too. Uh, I would like to thank uh, the teacher for really, uh, like, Mr. Fant for pushing me to pass my classes. And uh, I would like to thank my family for, uh, especially my mom and my dad, for uh, pushing me to do everything right. And my friends for helping me, uh, having the, making the, the road to graduating a lot smoother. First, I'd like to thank all of my teachers that uh, have pushed me through this goal, and uh, my mom who homeschooled me for half of my life. Big thank you to you. Um, also, I'd like to thank all my friends, especially in the track and cross country program, for you know creating a friend group for me and uh, really making me feel like home in Canyon. Uh, biggest thank you of all to my family, my brother, sister, and my parents. I love you all so much, and thank you for this awesome opportunity. I just want to thank my mom and dad for always putting up with the good and bad times during my high school career. Um, I just really want to thank y'all for always being there for me, um, and thank y'all. I can't believe I did it. Um, I would like to say thank you to all of my family that pushed me through this uh, to this moment, and I would love to thank my mom, my biggest cheerleader, for encouraging me and doing, helping me do what I need to do and to get things done. And thank you, CHS, for being the school I went to. Thank you. I just wanted to thank um, my parents and um, my youth pastor, Chris Roberts, and um, most importantly, my coach, Gonzalez. He is, uh, he's instilled a lot of work ethic in me, and uh, that's it. Hi mom, hi dad, hi family and friends and anyone else who has helped me through my school and through every other step and moment in my life. I really couldn't have done it without you and um, I'm really happy to be standing here today despite our recent situations. Um, I love you guys so much and this is truly a gift, thank you. I just want to thank my parents for the unconditional love and support throughout these past few years. I would like to thank my mom and dad and all of my teachers for supporting me throughout all of these years and being a constant support system. I would like to thank all my teachers that have helped me through the years, especially choir directors. They have really helped me grow through the years. I would like to thank my parents and my siblings for never letting me give up. I just like to thank all my family and friends and uh, for helping me get through high school. And then I'd like to give a special thanks to Coach Curran for helping me with everything else. Um, I just want to say thank you to my friends and my family and my teachers for helping me get through high school. And a special thanks to Mr. Sheffield. Thank you to my parents and uh, Coach Curtin for all the many years of support and thank you for making me a better and stronger person. I want to say thank you to all the teachers who put up with me when I left class and I want to thank my parents for pushing me to be my best. Say thank you to my parents and grandparents for supporting me through all the ups and downs of my school career. And I'd also like to say thank you to all the teachers who have helped me get this far. Hey guys, uh, we finally did it. Thank you to my parents and my teachers and everyone who's gotten me to this point. I'm so proud of everyone and I'm so glad we finally did it. This is not an ideal graduation, but here we are. Bye. I just want to say thank you everybody throughout my whole life uh, from pre-K all the way up to high school. All the teachers, my parents, both of my 
guardians, my mom and my dad's side, and my stepmom. Thank you. I would like to thank my family, my friends, and all the administrators. I would like to thank my family, especially my grandmother, for helping me get through all this. And a thank you to my teachers, especially my favorite, Ms. Hal. Sorry, Ms. Stafford. I just want to thank uh, my mom and Mr. Fulton and Mr. Farron and Mr. Kincaid. Okay, I want to thank my mom and dad for getting me this far and for the support they've shown me, and I just appreciate that. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for helping me get this far, and my boss, Kimmy. Y'all have been a great influence in my life, and thank you for helping me get to where I am today. Thank you, Mom and Dad, and everyone who supported me throughout my high school year. I really appreciate you guys being behind my back and always supporting me on my decision, even if I'm really complicated. Um, and yeah. <laughs> I would like to thank my parents for helping me out, uh, anything I needed to help me get, and um, thank my teachers for helping me out whenever I needed it. And um, I'd like to give a huge shout out to um, the students and staff of Canyon High. I was an incoming senior, so this was my first year, and everyone was just so welcoming. And I'd also like to thank my family because they encouraged me and they supported me um, throughout my whole entire walk of high school and my next journey. So I just want to say thank you to everybody and I appreciate all of you. I want to thank my parents and my family for always supporting me throughout this all these years of working. <laughs> I just want to thank my family and teachers for inspiring me not to limit myself. I just want to thank everyone who got me this far, especially my recruiters, my parents, and my friends from, and my soccer team. Thank you all very much. I just want to say thank you to my family and my teammates and my coaches for letting me travel all over the world and play softball and show pigs. I'd like to thank my mom. Uh, she pushed me my whole life to graduate. Uh, my dad, he's helped me a lot, and my younger siblings, who I hope I can improve in their life and have them graduate. Hey guys, I just wanted to say thank you so much for supporting me through the years. A big thank you to my family and friends and all the teachers who cared about all my passions and kind of kept me going forward. I'd like to thank my parents and my grandparents and my uncle and everyone who helped me through my high school career. I just want to thank my family, coaches, and friends for getting me to this point in my career and I can't wait to see what the future holds. I just want to thank my parents and all of my teachers for making, for letting me come to this point and all the support and my support system. Thank you, Mom and Dad, and thank you, Coach Doan. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for helping me get through high school and all of my close friends. I'd like to thank my parents, Karen and Kevin, for supporting me through everything from late night games and concerts to early morning rehearsals. They've been there for everything, and I wouldn't be here without them. I just want to say thank you to my parents and all the church members that go to University Church of Christ and uh, anyone who's helped me through Troop 4 when I was a Boy Scout. Um, Y'all made me who I am and uh, the band directors too. Uh, the band has been a large part of my life, so thank you. Thank you, Mom and Dad, Grandma Gramps, Tandy, Mike and Heavy, and the rest of my family that would take too long to name. Y'all have made this all possible. I just want to thank my family, my teachers, and my friends for helping me get to this day all okay. 
All right, I would like to thank uh, my mom, my brother, all of my family for helping me out on this journey. I'd like to thank uh, the organization's band, uh, journalism, theater, all of them were very accepting of me and it was very nice to be a part of them. I just want to thank uh, my mom, my dad, uh, Caleb and Abby. Y'all have been so supportive and everything and y'all are just so awesome. And I want to thank all my friends and family. Um, y'all are really my rock for sure. And